Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will learn how to install Docker on Windows Server 2022. Windows containers require a Windows container host. Container host is an operating system on which Docker daemon and Docker client service run. We need to use a Windows Server container host to install Docker so that we can run Docker containers using Windows Docker images. In this test lab, we have Windows Server 2022 VM. This VM currently has 4x vCPUs and 8GB VRAM allocated. Before installing Docker, Windows Server 2022 requires the containers feature to be enabled. First, we will install the Windows container features on Windows Server 2022. We can use Server Manager or Windows PowerShell to do so. In this video, we will use Windows PowerShell. Let me copy the command. Using this command, we will install continuous feature on this Windows Server 2022. Right click on Start menu and select Windows PowerShell Admin. At PowerShell, paste the copied command. Hit Enter key to execute the CM delete. We will be prompted to reboot the server after the role is successfully installed. Type Y and hit Enter key to reboot the server. After restarting, sign in again to this Windows Server 2022. To get started with Docker on Windows Server 2022, Microsoft has created a PowerShell script which configures an environment to enable container-related OS features and install the Docker runtime. Open Microsoft Edge web browser. This is the script using which we will install Docker Community Addition on this Windows Server 2022. You can download it manually from here or you can use Windows PowerShell command to download it. Let me close Microsoft Edge web browser. Let's open commands file. This is the command that will download the script file for us. Let's copy this command. Copy the command so we don't have to manually type it again. Right click on start menu and select Windows PowerShell admin. Paste the copied command. Hit enter key to download this script file. The script file has been downloaded successfully. Type command ls and hit enter key to confirm it. We can confirm that script has been successfully downloaded. Now let's run the downloaded PowerShell script. Hit enter key to execute the PowerShell script. First confirms the container feature is installed. Next it will start downloading Docker setup from their website and once package is downloaded, it will start installing Docker on this Windows Server 2022. Installation completed successfully. To check the installed Docker version on Windows Server, we can use the command docker version. Type command docker hyphen hyphen version and hit enter key. The output displays the Docker version and build number. You can also run command docker version to get detailed information about docker server and client service. Now that we have installed docker on Windows Server 2022, it's time to familiarize ourselves with useful docker commands to run, manage, create docker containers and use docker's capabilities effectively. To run a container, we first need to download a base image which provides a foundational layer of operating system services for our container. Then we create and run a container image which is based upon the base image. All containers are created from container images. Microsoft offers several starter images called base images. Let's create a container using the nano server image which is built for .NET Core applications. Let's copy the command to download nano server image. Let's go back to PowerShell and paste the copied command. Hit enter key to download the nano server base image. The image size is around 116 MB in size. After the image is finished downloading, let's verify its existence on our system. We can do that by querying a local docker image repository. Type command docker images and hit enter key. 
This will display a list of installed images on this Windows Server 2022. We can see the output showing the Nano Server image. Let's start a container with an interactive session from the Nano Server image. Copy the command. This is the command which we need to run to start a container with an interactive session. Let's paste the copied command and hit enter key. We are starting command prompt. After the container is started, the command prompt window changes context to the container. Type command host name and hit enter key. We can see the host name is different. We have successfully run a Docker container using the nano server image on this Windows Server 2022. Now exit the container by entering the exit command. Again, we are back on Windows PowerShell. This is just an example. You can create customized image and run it using Docker. To get the container ID for the container we just exited by running the docker ps-a command. Hit enter key to execute the command. We can see the container ID with image name and the command which we executed. Check the status. To create a new image that includes the changes in the first container we ran, we need to run the docker commit command. Run command docker ps-aq to list containers by their ID. Copy a container's container ID. Type command docker commit and paste the container ID which we just copied. Then we have to specify the new image name. Last hit enter key to execute the CM delete. The output shows us the SSG has of the custom image. We now have a custom image based on nano server image. Let's again run command docker images to verify it. We can confirm that now we have two images. One is the original and the second is a custom image we just created. We have successfully installed docker on our Windows Server 2022 environment and we have tasted it. We are now ready to leverage the power of containerization for our applications and services. That's all for this video on how to install Docker on Windows Server 2022. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.